Greetings, fellow friends of the sea ice. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 38 of Wendigos, which originally streamed live on Twitch. <laughs> Speaking of nothing organic, tumbling satellite, a satellite tumbled, and we got a bunch of dentures. <laughs> chomp, chomp. I have no need for dentures. Let's go for the bandit camp now. This bandit camp is guarded by 10 enemies. I'm going to send people, obviously. But uh, Eli, Glitch, Raptor, Mallet, Moles. Pretty much everybody. Ash and Toretto are going to stay behind. Uh, Tibbs, I'm not sure, can come out for this one because it might get too cold. But I'm going to send... I give in Tremontaine and Robs. I also have a, bonic, uh, a bison calf that I have yet to raffle off. So let me refresh the raffle eligibility and put up the timer. So good luck to you all. Maybe Dignus, you'll get your, uh, your raptor back. Or maybe not, I have no idea. I don't usually rig them. All right, I'm gonna bring all the carnivore lavish meals as well. I'm basically grabbing all the meals. And here is the male two-day-old bison to be raffled. So Cheese is gonna hang behind, just crafting dusters for us, and boy, do we have a lot of dusters already. In fact, if the cooldown has cooled down, uh, it would be a good idea to bring in yet another ball goods there it is and ash is back up and making food for us soon so we're a little vulnerable given that uh five sevenths of our community are out i also have trader hanging behind because uh both ash and trader can act as pretty decent uh, wardens to be able to recruit. So if we take a look at these prisoners, a 9.8 resistance and 16.4. Komodo's gonna be first, then Riesling, likely. Unless I get an inspiration. Costello, thank you for the resub. And Siladin as well. Three months and 20 months alike. Cheers all. I can't say it and not actually cheers, so cheers, for real. Oh. Looks like I'm out of human leather because Tourette is now smelting. Indication that I no longer have... Well, I'm not out of human leather. I just need to butcher a few more people. But, uh, yeah, there aren't, there aren't too many left to butcher. The time to get there is 1.9 days, so I sure hope that, uh... Yeah, three days left. I'll get there in time, just in time, with only a day left, and I'm going to have to probably turn some of those pirates I'm going to be killing into food. That way I can get myself home. Give my prisoners cannibal meals? Yeah, good, good call. They're cannibals now. And, of course, I just fed them incorrectly. Oh, well. Alright, so this, um, maybe not the dusters, uh, I'm going to start using the wools, the bison wool. I have a lot of bison wool, and I wouldn't mind higher quality stuff as we're heading into the winter, so Tourette is going to start, uh, helping with that. Making the highest quality bison clothing that he can manage for warmth. Because the warmer the clothing, uh, the more likely I can pair it with actual armor. I'd, it'd also be a good idea to work towards uh, feral exosuits, as they are fairly cold insulating and uh, they do reduce movement speed, but they're really high sharp armor. Actually, how do they compare to recon? So this is 101 and 57. 
It's a little bit more sharp resistance than recon armor, but with a moving speed penalty and about the same cold installation. So they're not perfect, but they're fine. And the last one to go is I did modify the mod to allow for insulated armors, which were even more expensive, but even more cold resistant. But I don't have that kind of cold in this series like I did in the last one. And because we are treating these guys fairly well, wow, look at that mood. Holy heck. Uh, they are going to be very easy to recruit, especially Komodo, who, or no, uh, Riesling, who's like over the moon. The happier they are, the faster their uh, recruit resistance drops. So we dropped a full 2% uh, the last interaction, which is incredibly good. Especially considering that Chiretter is not our primary uh, warden. The other group is only a day away from the bandit camp, and we're just, uh, you know, we're just in management mode. Deflutie! Deflutie the bison. Congratulations, Deflutie. I hope you last longer than Dignus. And all the other bison before you. Your lineage gets butchered and sold. Hey, pilgrims arrived to venerate the Longstalker. So this brings me to something I hadn't done yet, which was the poll about the flesh collar. How should I treat the flesh collar? Use it as a weapon or install it in a relic quarry. So this is the first pilgrims I've got. If you're wondering what the Pilgrim mechanic is, when you do have uh, a relic in your reliquary, like this here Longstalker, Pilgrims, people of your ideology, will come much like uh, Mecca, and they'll, you know, come as Pilgrims to your relics. And the benefit there is sometimes the Pilgrims will give you gifts um, as a respect of your relic that you have. So, it's up to you all uh, how I treat the Flesh Collar, which is another relic. Uh, the other benefit of a relic is all of the rituals that you do with relics in the room um, add some bonus mood. So even if it is a negative consequence, even if it is like a boring ritual, the fact that the relic is present makes it nice. I guess relics are actually... Not like Mecha, more like um, when you have bones and like bones and teeth of old uh, prophets and the, the like. That would be uh, more analogous, maybe. Very strange that uh, people would go to a church to see someone's like finger bone, but hey, that's just the way it is. Oh, okay, so I did purposely... Okay, I guess I'm just going to kill off all my crops here. Sorry, heal root. I'm going to shut down the farm for a bit. Because it just got blighted. And, uh, I don't have a farmer home, so... I'm going to purposely just turn everything off and just let it die. So these Outlanders just finished venerating the Longstalker. And much like when you offer refuge to refugees... Sometimes they'll leave you a gift after the fact, and they'll pot it to you. Transport pot it at, at you. So I have no idea if that's what's going to happen here, uh, but it could happen. A possible future reward, as it's called. Can they join? No, they cannot. You could, I guess, imprison them, um, but since they are Wendigo... I'm not doing that. Not just on principle, but, um, you know, they are one of us. We'll respect that. I know that seems maybe a little odd, uh, but that's just the way our strange ideology works. I'm setting up 
my caravan here to also eat the lavish carnivore meals that I sent them with. Uh, and that should fix their days of food. As you can see, it bumped it up from whatever it was to like 2.6, which is enough for a round trip. Tree Montaigne just gave birth out here. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. I won't banish it, though. So you you all think I should install it in a reliquary. Or not all, but enough. So I'll do that. It won't be Papa Glitch's uh, primary weapon. Glitch, I'm curious. How did you vote? I'm trying to figure out how I want to lay this out. But here we are at the bandit camp, so I'm going to figure that out later. So these bandits are... have a significant amount of sniper rifles, which is a little worrisome. They're very decently... they have really good ranged weapons. Which means I'm going to have to uh, rely on the cover from my brawlers a little bit more. Alex Ark and Moles, thanks for the resub. Here you are, Moles, with your brand new body parts and all. I've been trying to take very good care of you. Uh, this guy has a heavy SMG. So yeah, these guys are, are pretty well equipped and I'm gonna have to be careful as a result. And as you can see, they're already moving towards me, positioning themselves for shots. All right, so that was a good vertical pulse. Uh, the one with the grenades is going to be annoying, because that's kind of annoying for a brawler. So let's isolate them. Moles has already split one in half. And then Glitch... What weapons do these guys have? Like, it's hard to tell, because they're all stacked up on one another. I might pulse again here... All right, there goes the Grenadier. And there goes Jane. Glitch has been hit once, but so minorly that it's not worth mentioning. All these brawlers are basically projectile vomiting, and now they are done. Uh, payment has been awarded. And I'm going to be cleaning up the rest of this base. So don't let them leave. Uh, moles. Let me claim. And Eli go inside. Ideally, I'd like uh, Mallet to get as many kills as possible because he benefits the most. So here's a bunch of what, sandstone beds. So that's I can break those down for stone and be able to finish the Wendigo and Monument, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. She's gonna get out, isn't she? Yep, she got out. And the quest available, re uh, the Wendiglave. Obviously, I'm gonna accept that. One of the things I didn't do is the uh, the hospitality for friends, which I'm sure you guys are gonna veto because the rewards are absolutely uh, dog poo for the effort. But I'll pull for it anyway. So should I offer hospitality? Yes or no? And as a little reminder, it's for three people, 13 days for these rewards. If you want to see me do it, that's fine. I don't really care. You can vote however you want. I'm not going to try to influence it, but I just thought personally that it was a terrible, terrible joke of a reward. But you're happy to veto. I don't, I don't mind. All right, let's, uh, let's have Mallet start to finish these guys off. I'm going to strip them so that their clothing uh, retains value, some value. And then uh, the other thing I'm gonna wanna do is to get enough steel from breaking down the gibbet cages and the like so that I could butcher. 
Uh, this was a pirate camp, so not a single one of them is going to be tribal, meaning that none of them are going to be worth recruiting. They can't be, because, you know, non-tribal. So, I don't really need to bother with their traits or anything like that. And, uh... With all the steel that I'm going to be getting for the gibbet cages, I will turn that into a butcher table and butcher these corpses so that they're easy to haul their meat and leather back home. Uh, Melon, finish off Meza and then heal Mole's Eli and Papa Glitch. Don't forget the sandstone for the statue. Yep, I know, I already have the beds broken, queued to be broken down. Uh, nobody here really all, all got all that hurt, so I'm going to not use meds. Actually, I want Raptor to just keep breaking things down. And then Raptor being our, uh, our cook. Ooh, you know, I don't have wood. I'm gonna have to use a butcher spot. As much as that pains me, I thought I was gonna get wood from this facility and I didn't. So, that is shucks. Uh, fine, whatever. Butcher the human legs. Now the issue with the butcher spot is you get less yield, but I, I didn't bring any wood with me, so. There aren't uh, reasonable alternatives here, and this pirate base has no wood built into it whatsoever. All right. Looks like there's uh, pretty much universal consensus that the hospitality for friends is a terrible quest. Giving me one reinforced barrel. For I think honestly, the cost of room and board. Just the meals alone outweighs that single barrel. Like, if I was to sell the meals to someone, I would make more money uh, that way. Toretter, let's get you to trade with Spocka's Trader before I forget to do that and they walk off the tile having spent influence to bring them in. And another pet Yoda. How's it going, buddy? Are we going to get lucky? Is there stuff I want to buy? I'm just going to sell the panther fur and bear skin. I'm, I don't care enough to make anything out of it. Even the hyperweave. Just don't care. I will reject that hospitality quest. It sucks and everybody knows it. All but two of you. Uh, let's go send, sell the dentures. So... Where's the other dentures? There. Now I don't even have to haul them. Laziness is a virtue. They do have 140 more silver, so perhaps I find something else to sell them. Probably peg legs. I can't, well, no, we still might want to strip the legs off of people, so peg legs um, might come in handy. Yeah, whatever. I'll overchar or undercharge them for a duster. I don't care. It's fine. Stupid rabbit eating my meals. Everybody will be allowed to do some constructions so no one's idle. Glitch is bored. How about you just get out of bed, dude? Alright, looks like they're spending the night here. Oh, he's fully healed. I think he was set on, yeah, he was set on bed rest, so that was my fault. If you're bored, drink a beer. And consume ambrosia. 
chemical uh, recreation only goes so far, so I'm probably, yeah, I'm already bored of chemical consumption. But we'll be caravanning out of here uh, shortly, as soon as some of the additional structures are broken down, and it looks like Moles is helping with that. We have 399 sandstone, so that slab bed that I bought almost got us all the way. We need a clean 400, but we'll, we'll get there. Just find it funny that we got so close. I do want to strip this entire facility because it, the stone is pretty rare, especially when you're on sea ice, so. We are going to tear it to nothing. I'll probably break the whole thing. Just because I can. For the amount of times you've seen Yoda, you're surprised that he looks like Yoda? Yep, he does. He more looks like Grogu. He looks like Baby Yoda. A little, little Baby Yoda. Alright, I think we're done. There's nothing left. I have no idea what we're going to be able to carry and what we won't. We did. I did bring some bison, so it's possible that we'll have some carry weight, but we'll see. Uh, first and foremost, let's bring food, because that's going to be important for the trip home. Human meat, hops, smoke leaf, sure. Components, leather, human leather, ambrosia, Uranium, and then 1190 sandstone. So obviously I don't have to wait for this. So before I, I cue myself to pick that up, I'm going to grab the things that I want. Apart from that, maybe the gold, the flak helmet. Maybe, a, but I don't really care about the flak vest. And then one sandstone and the rest granite. Even though granite weighs the most, slate would be more efficient. Uh, granite is tougher, and we're making our defenses out of it. So there we go. That is uh, everything. I obviously stripped up way more than I needed to. And then uh, once this bison calf gets home, I'm going to name it after one of you. So four days travel, three days of food. That's going to be a bit of a problem, but uh, I can always set raw human meat to be consumable. So I'm not that worried. And for that next giveaway, I'm going to reset the giveaway clock. Put the timer up, and there we go. Yet another bison calf. I think the real giveaway that you guys want to see is Komodo. I, I don't disagree. And let's see about the... Oh, resistance zero. So that's going to happen really soon. Riesling is only resistance eight. Uh, they're being treated pretty well, so they're converting pretty fast. Pretty well by, like, Wendigo standards, that is. I still have so much bison wool. So, I think what I'm going to do with all of this uh, thrumbo fur is... Ooh. Hmm. I'm going to start making button-down shirts out of it. And pants. No, maybe I won't make pants. Pants pants aren't as, uh, as necessary because all of your vital organs are underneath your shirt. Losing a leg is annoying, but not usually fatal. So pants and dusters. So what we're doing here is only allowed ingredients from 95 to 100% hit point value. And we're going to slowly transition away from wool to thrumbo. And maybe I'm going to say only good to legendary. So we aim for quality. Uh, then the last of this here, let me move the duster cue all the way down. The last one will be pants. And the pants I'm just going to make out of... Um, wool, the bison wool, for warmth. I care less about protection of the legs, because pants don't cover your toes, so it doesn't stop you from losing toes anyway. Um, and most of our legs are going to be bionic, so it's not like we can bleed out 
Uh, so it would keep our legs from being, our bionic legs from being destroyed, but it's, um, it's, it's fine. Uh, all right, so there we go. That is the new Taylor Q. I'm going to get rid of the uh, tribal wear. The toque can stay. This duster I'm going to get rid of as well. And we'll make the dusters first. Ideally, I would like really high quality dusters. That would be best case scenario. What are you working on, Ash? I think they're just hauling slag. So now, we don't have that penalty of no recent conquest. So people will be a six mood happier. And in fact, the ones that attended the conquest are going to be happier as well. Because they killed things and went on the raid. That's the way the raiding meme works. If you attend the raid, you become happy. If your uh, colony did the raid, you're fine. And here we have Komodo. So this raffle timer just got a lot spicier. We have a, a Wendigo to raffle off. So Labar Wendigo Brio, a passionate brawler, not very skilled, but passionate. Uh, let's assign uh, the outfit appropriately. Do you have, okay, you don't have medical skill, but I've been just having everyone carry medicine anyway. Uh, so this one to go is going to be brawler. I don't have a weapon for him yet. So one of the things I might want to do is to suspend the slag so that I can craft a glaive. A glaive takes one slag and 65 ingredients, and I'm going to use the plasteel, what little plasteel I have, and turn it into a glaive for this new possible recruit. So if you'd like to be eligible for this recruit, all you got to do is type anything, anything in the general chat here. If you're a subscriber, you're eligible if you've typed in the last five minutes. And it looks like, uh, it looks like Riesling will probably join us in just a few minutes as well. And interestingly enough, one way to even speed up uh, Riesling's recruit process is now it's not a prison barracks, it's a prison cell, which makes it even nicer. Oops, and I didn't mean to do that. I hate that new mechanic. All right, so this raffle, the first one is going to be the Bison. So you don't want to win this one. Cuero. Sorry. <laughs> you are the caravanning bison. Um, you'll be bison, this bison calf that I, I think I cannot name while it's on caravan. But as soon as it gets home. Now, the raffle that people actually want to win, uh, probably, is this one. Zleb. Congratulations. You, um, you're luckier, you're luckier than you know. <laughs> this will become obvious soon. I'm going to whisper you why. You can share it with chat if you, no, don't even share it with chat. Um... I don't even have a way to whisper you at the moment. I don't have my Chatterino up. <laughs> but it's... It is the r most rigged... Oh! A medical assistant named Hall is crashing. Sure, Hall. Come on down. Hall is a medical assistant, so he's non-tribal, so I don't even need to check. <laughs> uh, we have... We have... Oh, no, this is perfect. Uh, we have the prime sacrifice... Just about off cooldown. So, Mr. Hall here uh, gets to be sacrificed to the Wendigo and Gods. Sounds good to me. Uh, Zaleb, first thing that you're going to do, go get him.
All right, I just whispered you as to why. Byron, thanks for the bits. Cheers. Uber eats delivery? Uber sacrifice delivery. So there's two ways to sacrifice him. There is the prime slaughter and the public execution. How should we kill Hall? Uh, the benefits are pretty much the same. And the results are pretty much the same. So, this is like voting for the two aliens in The Simpsons. Doesn't matter which one you vote for. Uh, either way, we win. Put the timer up anyway. And there'll be a second shot at another recruit really soon because I think Riesling will... Uh... Oh, uh, we need to arrest. Not rescue. And here comes the unfinished glaive. This will be Zleb's glaive. Yeah, you just got my whisper? <laughs> yep. Cover your ears if you don't want it spoiled. I'm gonna spoil it. Zleb also happened to have won the Architect uh, raffle for the next character in the Architects on YouTube. So, just by chance, what can I say? Yeah, this is like, whose line is it anyway? Where uh, points don't matter and everything's made up. All right, there's the glaive. Please don't melt it down. It's only good quality. Chiretter, Chiretter, Chiretter. You're a planet-owned master. You're making good quality. Ouch. That that hurts me. That hurts me. Okay. Well, we have yet. Another brawler, which is really nice for the shield belt wall that we can build up. Um, the glaive here does really high DPS, almost 14 with a melee penetration of 35, which isn't, um, it could have been so much better. But did we abandon Dem Tacos? No, you were not abandoned. Uh, this is a PCU. This is a PCU. This is a PCU. Uh, do we have any other pieces of you left? I might have sold the rest of you. So we didn't abandon you. Hidden installation booty. Ooh. Swiggity swooty, we're coming for that booty. It also happens to be near a hunting work site as well. Oh, a hunting work site that has heavy fur. There is a lack of phrasing here. Uh, you guys want me to prime slaughter hall. So once everybody gets home to celebrate the clearing of the pirate base and the recruiting of Zleb, the slaughter will happen. Uh, this prisoner here, let's convert. I don't, oh, can you even be converted? Yeah, you're already went to go. Uh, reduce resistance, I guess. I don't really care. And no meds. Do not treat the asthma. I'm really hoping these dusters start to go up in quality. Oh, there we go. An excellent one. I was going to say, the, uh... The planet known master making excellent quality is a bit of a shot to the guts. It's very upsetting. I'm going to need to make a new food restriction. Or maybe retrofit an old one. Let me do that. So, travel is going to have to include raw human meat, I think. Because they're going to run out of food. So, it might be a pukathon, a puke fest, uh, but at least they'll be fed. And we have another combat supplier coming in. I guess there's a slate club and like a spear I could sell them, but that's about it. Uh, there's 
this gun here and that's out of the map tile so I can't add it to a stockpile. Hey, a masterwork shirt. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, and uh, these weapons. Okay, yeah, we, we have some junk. Junk to give these uh, caravan to Bucky, the frail asthmatic trader. My caravan got ambushed. Oh no. Oh no. So anyway, we killed some foxes. Outfoxed you. I figured that was going to be interruptive. Uh, slate club, breech axe, spear. One could make the argument that these are worth more to me melted down than they are sold. And I wouldn't disagree with you, not at all. But I'm also lazy and I'm not going to melt them down. And I already know that about myself. So I'll sell them instead. I'm being sassy today. No, I mean, let's be honest. Am I gonna micromanage melting down all those weapons carefully, thoughtfully, making sure not to melt down the like glaive that I made Zleb? Or more realistically, am I just going to not care and leave them in the stockpile forever, never using them and having them accrue wealth for no reason? I know myself. I'm just gonna leave them there. That's the easier, lazier thing to do. So I might as well just get rid of them when I can. Um, it's in my best interest. It's also in your best interest. Uh, so let's move on. I'm not even gonna pick up the fox corpses. Now we have 1.6 days of food. That's probably not even true. I can't imagine them eating uh, 778 human meat, raw human meat. So that's probably just the animals will run out of rice timer, not the we're gonna run out of food. I seem to like long form games. Have I considered playing and then insert name of game? So here's something interesting. Right now I'm actually collecting games to play for October and November from Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers on my Discord. So if you're a subscriber of mine and you integrate link your Discord with Twitch, uh, you'll be given access to a private channel which allows you to propose a game for me to play for next month and the month afterwards. The way it works is I take uh, all of the suggestions. Let's say there's 50 suggestions. All of those suggestions and I put them into a poll and then the poll will be private and only Patreon patrons and Twitch subs can vote in that poll in the initial one. And that will help to determine the order of popularity from the most popular to the least popular. And then given that order of popularity, I will put those items that are the most popular into the public poll every week that anyone can vote on to determine the games I play. So uh, last week or just a few days ago, it was determined that I should play Project Zomboid with the latest update. Uh, next week, it looks like Project Zomboid is gonna lead the polls again. But uh, every week I play a game that my community determines and this is part of the process of determining that game. So currently, uh, I have a whole bunch of games already proposed, but if you're interested and you're a Twitch sub and you'd like to propose a game that you think has not been on my radar, uh, you're welcome to do so. And it's very, very rare that I veto a game. Uh, the only times I would veto a game is if I thought no one would vote for it and it was a waste of a suggestion or if it's a game um, that I don't want to play for whatever reason. So for instance, Factorio is one such game where I was like, eh, I don't really care for it that much. so. Uh, I played it once, I, I put it up in the poll again, it lost, and then I just didn't put it back up thereafter. But you are absolutely welcome to suggest whatever games you like. I play a whole lot more games than I play on stream. Just, you know, being a gamer, so... Uh, there's a lot of things that I've played that I just have never streamed, for instance. Um, that might or may not be on or off my radar. But uh, for Path of the Righteous specifically, uh, no, I had never played it. One of the only types of games that I do never play, I make it. I, I, it's like it's like 
uh, a recovering addict, never touching drugs, is I don't touch MMOs ever. So that is that is one genre that you'll never see me ever play, um, or at least not traditional like MMORPGs and stuff like that, or or games that have a uh, severe gambling gambling or um, pay to win mechanics. Uh, games where the developer exploits uh, people and you know those games I, I don't touch either because developers that do that suck oh don't don't no 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 oh god really 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 I wasn't paying attention for just a minute giving you that spiel and uh, these guys started hauling clothing out to the middle of nowhere so uh, I'm gonna remedy this by caravanning so lab, turn around with that. Oh, we have a component mining works site. Awesome. Uh, so, Treader, please fix this for me. What I need to do when I make these little temporary stockpiles is uh, lower their priority down to the lowest. So that we don't do this stupid hauling out to nowhere. All right, Eli's fully healed. Moles will be last. I've actually played a, a Barbie game on stream as a joke, and then I hated it because it was actually a game full of microtransactions to exploit children, and it, it pissed me off. So much. I could not believe how predatory the game was. And I like railed against it for a minute or two. I was like, this is just disgusting. And then I was like, nope, never again. Not even worth the joke. It was like a coloring book game. And you got to like cover color one thing. And then every single other like coloring book page was like an extra dollar. It's like, what the hell kind of game? Like, that is just... Ugh, that is just... Super scumbag. Uh, and there's a lot of scumbag practices, but if you want some to see the some of the scummiest scumbag practices, uh, children's games are some of the worst. Because children can't speak up and say, this isn't fair, because they don't really understand fairness in that way. Um, and those types of games, oh man, did they suffer. Uh, the person in caravan has to self-tend off. It doesn't matter if there's anyone that does medical tending. Uh, they'll be tended to. So Raptor and Mallet are both docs. So they'll tend to anyone that gets injured. It only matters if you're alone on a caravan with no doctors that you have to turn self-tending on. Or no one is a doctor or whatever. Byron, thanks for the, uh, the gifted subs. Move and cancel. So there we go. A lot of delivered weapons to smelt and slag to break down. No man, no man's land. That's what that word is. I was like, no man island? Then I was like, wait, no, I'm more literate than that. No man land. <laughs> Thank you for the, uh, the follow. Part of me feels like I should just create like a totally different YouTube channel to talk about the gaming industry. Not actually being an insider, but someone that has obviously watched it evolve over the course of many years and how how terrible uh, the gaming industry has succumbed to shareholder demands and stock price value rather than passion about games. It makes me very sad. It's also why uh, you'll see indie titles predominantly represented on my uh, YouTube and Twitch rather than uh, AAA titles because, well, enough said, right? Raffle for Riesling. Here we go. 
Let me reset the raffle. Uh, so Riesling here was the most recent shock lanced, without a brain scar, uh, shock lanced possible recruit. They are a, she is a youth delinquent, burning passion in shooting, and honestly, uh, pretty handy all around, to, to be, to make that clear. I am going to give her the feral submachine guns, the reason being they double as a brawling weapon, so that's pretty good for her, uh, rather than giving her a saw rifle, which might not be as powerful. If you'd like the opportunity to win her in said raffle, uh, just you know, type something in the chat. So I do have a few opportunities here of things I could work on. Hey Matt, thanks for gifting out a sub. To our fine Luciferium addicted friend, Porlino. Oh, uh, yes, you, let me do this. You are a shooter, fine meals. I don't think you're a doc. Oh god, you're not a doc. Uh, okay, I'm not even gonna have her carry meds because she has a skill of zero. What should I prioritize? The Wendiglave? The Reliquary? The Wendigo in Monument? I'm going to probably do a lot of these things in tandem or in parallel. I just want to ask you what the most pri high priority is. The component site, the hunting site, trade, recruiting. That's a big old list. So now if you haven't typed something in the chat to make you eligible for, I guess I should name her Wendigo. Uh, for, to make you eligible to win the very w uh, wine name, <laughs> Riesling Bacchus. Oh god, what a, what a Vinter name right there. Uh, have your hand at voting on what you think we should prioritize. Now, a lot of these I could do at the same time. I can easily work on getting the Wendiglave, building a reliquary, and building the Wendigo on Monument kind of all at once, but... I did, I did want your input. Oh, this is sad. Riesling is throwing a party who no one is in attendance other than Charetter. <laughs> Imagine throwing a party and then not attending it yourself and just going to sleep, because here she is, she's asleep. She legitimately was like, party time! Nap time. Uh, yes. And we have a new quest. It is a 30-year-old Glitterworth surgeon, so she's not going to be tribal, uh, hiding for mechanoids. It's guarded by men hunting foxes and mechanoids. So, okay, that's very strange. And uh, she obviously wouldn't be recruited because she's Glitterworld surgeon, which means she's not tribal. Uh, I'm just going to say no. This is this is a charity quest. It doesn't even make sense. It would be offered to monsters like us. E.T. on this caravan is just one day, and I suppose what I'm going to do is leave. This here is going to be a hospital for us, because that way you can rest and not be disturbed. And then I'm going to put my prison cubbies, or whatever you want to call them, back, so we move hall. I'm waiting for everybody to get home so that we have a high attendance or participants list for when we sacrifice Hall, uh, giving us the best possible outcome, or at least a chance for a good outcome, because we have nine out of the 10 participants that we'd want to have attend. Oh, a hydrate and a posture check. And Rexican, thank you for the follow. Any skill in planting? Ooh, that's a good question. And you guys want the Wendigo and Monument, the Reliquary, and the Wendiglave. So we're going to work on relics, essentially. Relics in our uh, ritual room. Okay, let me update that. Alright, it's updated at the top right of the screen. 
What was I saying? Are those jade walls? Yes, they are. Uh, jade walls are very beautiful. They're fireproof. They're just very weak. Planting seal. Thank you, thank you. I got sidetracked. Uh, yes, Zleb is super good at plants. So... At this point, I would say we need heal root more than anything else. Our medicine is bad and we have a lot of rice. Another thing that I just realized is we're also out of animal meat, so we're going to have to start making our simple meals out of rice. And there it is. Good luck. Oh, man. How do I say your name? Uh, Slast Erpel? Slast Erpel. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the, uh, the raffle. If you want to nickname yourself, feel free to just at tag me and... Let me know what you want your pawn to be named. Slast Airpool's fine too, but I might just call you Slast if that's all right. And I do believe this is the first time you've ever won, so congratulations, first time winner. Just Slast, you got it. Okay, so Zleb is helping to farm for us. The other things I, I probably want to invest in is uh, Bionic Legs for Zleben's last. God, that is, uh, <laughs> that is a bit of um, a mouthful of awkward names to to say. Zlast and Zleb. But uh, I don't really have the uh, Plasteel for that. So in order for us to gain additional Plasteel, uh, I am probably going to need to get a long-range mineral scan research going. I can't really imagine that we're going to get reliable sources of plasteel anyway else. Did I ever get that other crafting trainer? No? What was that paired with? Oh, no, I did. The Marauder Encampment. So, yeah, it's right here. Uh, yeah, good call. So, Slast, let's learn you that. In case Tretter, you know, bites the bullet. So, you just went from 7 to 13? That's pretty good. And uh, another thing I haven't done is work priorities. So, Zleb, you can plant... Oh, wow, you're a, a force to be reckoned with. You can plant, mine, grow, construct. It doesn't matter. Having a second researcher would be really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. It would be a little problematic as to where. I, I guess I would want to put it here, but... I think what we really need to start to think about is a larger perimeter wall that allows us to expand a bit better. But I also do like that we're in this little den. This hard to defend den. That doesn't make a lot of sense. What's going on here? What, uh, let me check this travel restriction again, because they say they're hungry, but I don't think they are. Simple meals is fine. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. They, they have food. Maybe the animals don't. But even these animals should be able to eat the uh, fine meals or the simple meals. So I don't know why it's reading as uh, zero days of food. That's weird. Because there's obviously food here for them. If you take a look at their needs. Uh, they're they're not that hungry. So the, for the moment, I'm going to focus on the reliquary and um, obtaining the additional information about the Wendiglave instead of and the and the, of course the monument once we get the sandstone home and and that will be the priority. And then if we want to add anything else to my priority list, like. Uh, base expansion for bedrooms or something like that. Uh, we can vote on that. Cheers. I do think having two researchers would be a very good idea because Glitch can't do it alone, or he can do it alone, but it will take a while, and then also we're tribal, so it takes longer. The uh, research speed penalties are pretty brutal. 
One of the things I think is ridiculous is the research speed that you can build into your ideology. I haven't been doing it, but you could have very fast research speed and there's like no downside to that. It's so ridiculously strong. How much is Glitch actually researching? Do we even need two tables? Well, that's a good point. I could also put um, uh, Slast on a night schedule and have them alternate day and night. Uh, that would be fine too. So I'll queue that up for now. Slast, let's look at your bio. Your great memory and cannibal. And we'll have you start to research. Oh, that Yoda streamer cam did not work. That's my bad. It will the next time it's redeemed. Sorry, Matt. Okay, everybody's home. They are super wreck deprived. But we're going to get... Who's my best artist? Eli has a passion in it, but he's not any good. Uh, so we're going to get moles to take a break from growing for a bit. And make the Wendigo and Monument, which is demanded, or desired at least, because of our uh, level of development. Another thing I might want to consider is to push to add some additional room here. So here's the thing. If I had my reliquaries like this, I'd probably want my back wall here instead of where it is, and then to move the tomb a little backwards as well. So there's going to be a little bit of um, a little bit of change happening here. Another thing I might want to do is to incorporate more jade. I have 114 of it. But let me just go ahead and set up where the three reliquaries are going to go. I'll just... I already know that that's going to be something I'm going to want, so... As far as schedules go... This last, you're going to be set on a Night Owl schedule so that you can alternate... Oh, no. Oh, not this again. Oh, dear lord. All right, Raptor and Glitch, you share a bed. Moles, you don't have a bed. Uh, guess what? You have your own bedroom temporarily. And then all these creatures, you need to be... They were never uh, brought anywhere. So I have to queue them up to be anesthetized, and this one's going to be named Guero. Already raffled, so... Oh, but these animals are sleeping. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, Ash! Wait, wait, wait. Ash can rope them. Hold on. I don't need to do that anymore. I forgot that I had uh, Ash join as a capable animal handler. Oh, that is so much easier. Thank, thank goodness. As soon as everybody's up, I'll do the sacrifice. I'm going to wait till we've got a little bit of a... R&R &R and sleep, because as you can see, Moles and Mallet are in dreadfully bad moods, as is Glitch, for that matter. They've been traveling with no um, recreation for a long time. All right, we'll get the other reliquary built. It's not something that benefits from quality, so it doesn't really matter who builds it as long as they don't fail. I'm gonna build another, how many of these, nine? Yeah, we'll get our ninth. How many, what is the population? Nine, yeah, okay, so we only need nine kneeling pillows for now. Oh, and Zleb failed. Uh, guess what? You know how I said quality didn't matter? It does matter for kneeling pillows, so Raptor will continue building that when they're up. So here's a reliquary. And then another thing I'm gonna to need to do is to start to carpet it up, but I have no cloth on me at the moment. So these benches will be 
Oops, cotton. And... Is the bug still ha- yeah, the bug's still happening. Thank you for tuning in to Wendigos, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 25th. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, as well as a link to Discord, where you can join and sign up for announcements or chat with me in real time. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody.